Hey, welcome to our bus. Hi, I'm Don Michelle. I'm the lead singer of the band Fireflight, and we are currently on tour with Seventh Day Slumber and Sean Locke and Scarlet White on the Small Town America tour. And it's going pretty good so far. And so uh, we're here just traveling from state to state to very small towns and uh, in our car bus. So we've had our bus for a long time and it's kind of an older bus and we actually own it, which is kind of rare. Most people just run out buses. But since it's ours, like we kind of just keep polishing it up even when things break. So that's what we've been doing for a long time. We've got a pretty fancy entertainment center as you can see here. Here's our flat screen TV really nice. It says flat screen in the bottom corner. That's how you know it's a flat screen TV. But uh, we use this a lot for watching videos. We have off days and we have kids on the bus so we have cool things like Jim Henson's pajama nails. And uh, <laughs> that helps it um, quiet the kids down especially when um, when the front of house girl has to come hold the baby during our sound check and our show. <laughs> so that comes in a lot of handy and then we have basically a big front lounge and um, most of those screens work pretty good so that's pretty awesome. The sconces don't work so great. We have this big panel of buttons here and really only one button works and it's the accent lights and that's the only lights we can turn on because nothing else does anything. <laughs> it's an older bus. So um, we have this where we'll sit and eat. And usually there's just a big stack of pizza boxes here. Nobody can usually eat here because there's so many pizza boxes, but um, it's definitely handy to have a place for the pizza boxes to go. And then we have our, our Walmart candle. This is a, we this came in handy last night because of a cool another cool feature that our bus has. But we like to burn that, it makes it a little bit more homey. This is where we write all of our notes and our set list when we're getting ready for the show so everybody can remember. This was made by Phoenix, the almost five-year-old who lives on this bus. Uh, welcoming everyone because he's so talented and so welcoming. And you can see uh, we have a beautiful view out of our windows. The good news is the big one on this side is nice, but not the small one, but the small one down here on this side is nice. So you know where to sit if you really want to look outside. <laughs> well, when we have day drives, it's pretty much the pits. It's the worst ever. The ideal situation is you wake up and you're there where you're going already. You've driven during the night and everything's cool, but sometimes you have super long drives or something goes wrong and you end up having to sit out in the lounge while we're driving down the road and you're kind of facing this way so you're getting car sick and feeling awful. But um, day trips are the worst. So during a day trip we'll all be sitting up here or half people will still be in their bunks just pretending that they don't have to get up yet and that we're going to be there soon. So it's usually half and half and it's, like I said since we have kids a lot of times we commandeer the front lounge as well and so all the people who are up here are stuck watching Jim Henson and uh, Teletubbies and things like that. So this is our kitchen area. It has a feature of a convection oven. It used to also be a microwave uh, until the microwave quit working. We don't know why. So now we also have another microwave here. So for all of our quick microwaving needs we have this and it's no problem. And then if we want to heat up the pizza so it has cr crispy crust after like the next morning um, we put it in there and it's pretty tasty. We have a Keurig. Everybody needs a Keurig, right? We've got a skillet in case you want to make a grilled cheese on an off day because you don't feel like getting off the bus. Maybe it's rainy. Maybe you're close to Canada or something. And uh, then we have, uh, we used to have two fridges and then they both broke. And, but we've only replaced one so far, which is our fancy fridge. And this one is our, our less fancy fridge. And I put a post-it note on this last night because we've been having, we've been hosting people on our bus for this tour. And I think not everybody maybe knew that this fridge didn't work because when we got back to the bus last night, very late at night, there was a very awful smell and as it turned out someone put their leftovers in the first that does not work and so that took us a good while to get that straight <laughs> but um, that's why we now have a post-it that says FYI this fridge does not work um, everybody kind of has like a shelf stuff we've got peanut butter some simple stuff this tour has been mostly like quick trips out on the weekends and then back home for a couple days sort of thing so we don't have too much built up on it but um, if we did, this would just be stocked with food when we go out on long tours and where we can't get home on the weekdays. All right, and then we have a bathroom. Um, a cool feature of our bus is that it used to have pressure doors. Uh, you would push these buttons. And Johnny wants to come be part of the video too. Come on, Johnny. And so, um, and you push this button and they would open and close like Star Trek, which was pretty cool, except for they kept getting stuck and then you'd be trapped back here with no way to get out. And so, as opposed to putting in axes everywhere, we decided to turn off the pressure and, um, and just do it manually, and we installed these cool handles to help us open and close the doors. But the good news is they never open by accident. You have to really try. 
<laughs> and then behind this door is the bathroom. And we actually have a bus with a shower on it, which is pretty rare. Um, most buses don't have showers on them, but you have to carry around a lot of water to, to do showers or find a water source wherever you are. So we really just turned it into a storage closet, which gives us more room to store things like toilet paper and paper towels and our sheets and the millions and millions of hand towels that we have. We've been collecting hand towels from shows, they like our show towels, for, I mean, I don't know, 10 years? And they've all accumulated in the bus. And so we have so many that we, if we ever don't have show towels, we have some. And also we're always tend to be at festivals where things will get crazy muddy or who knows what. And suddenly the next thing you know is the whole flower, we just, floor will be covered with hand towels. So that's what we do with those. And this is Johnny, my son. And so this is the bunk area. And we've modified it a little bit. Um, let's see, right now it sleeps uh, 10. And we took out two of the bunks here and turned it into closets. And this is where people throw their backpacks and stuff. Right now we're only using some of the bunks and we're using most of the top bunks for storage here. And then we've got our lower bunks where people are staying. And the reason why we took out the two bunks is because we turned this, we converted, this used to be a lounge, and we converted it into a, a bigger bedroom here when um, Phoenix, which was our first um, child to be born into the band, Glenn and Wendy who play guitar and bass, they're married to each other, and Wendy had the baby Phoenix, and so we turned this kind of into our nursery room for them. And it used to have like a rocking chair back here and like a pack and play. And then this was their bed, which I feel sad for them that they have to share this bed because it's so small. Here, I could lay the baby on it and you can see how small it is. Now two adult humans sleep on that bed. <laughs> and um, anyways, but now Phoenix has gotten so big, he's almost five now and he has his own bigger bed. So this is his own little bunk he has. And then, um, They've got a row of closets back here, and then behind one of these closets there is a, a mini fridge back here as well. Hi, I'm John Michelle for Fireflight, and this has been a tour of our bus. This is Johnny, my baby, and uh, we're out on the Small Town America tour right now. You can check out our tour dates and see what's going on with the band anytime at fireflightrock.com or facebook.com slash fireflightrock.